piss. Yes, that, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> review of this game, isn't it? People of the internet, welcome back to the Armour Arcade, and welcome back to the Bad Games Beatdown. Nay, we're recording this on the hottest day of the year, it's lovely and sunny outside, and yet we're inside playing this shit. I know. What are we doing with our lives? It's depressing, isn't it? It is a bit, isn't it? So... Shall I depress the start button? Yes, I think you should. And this is, of course, Duke Nukem Forever. This is one of those games that was in that sort of category of, like, Aliens, Colonial Marines, the, the Right Tail Retribution, those sort of games that we knew were going to be in this series at some point. If I'm not wrong, this came out in 2009-ish? Uh, 2011, yes. 2011, okay. Yes, which That's is... Yeah, quite so. quite a long time after the original Duke Nukem's came out, which we have no nostalgia for. You've not played any of the original nope. Duke Nukem's. Me neither. And this was always going to be an interesting one, given that this seemed to be in development forever. This was one of those games that finally escaped development hell. But most of the time when a game does escape development hell, you wonder why they didn't just stay there. Yeah, I mean, that's the unwritten part of the title is Duke Nukem in for development forever. And uh, we're about to tackle a new campaign. Yeah, let's you do ready? it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm not, but let's go. Don't forget to run away from explosions. No shit, Sherlock! Drink beer to make yourself tougher. Well, there's some advice. Well, I mean, I haven't got any beer. I've got some cider, though. Will I've got work? some Vimto. I don't think that'll make you tougher. It might. Well, I'll drink some cider. And I'll uh, get back to you on whether it's made me tougher. The low times, though. Yeah, this is still loading. The absolute load time. We've had about six tips from them on how to play the game, but no chance to play the actual game. Hey, hey, press hey there we go, it lives. Finally. Piss. Yes, that, that's a good <laughs> review of this game, isn't it? Hold on. I can't piss everywhere. You're fucking kidding. What? You <laughs> All work. right, so a little bit of context. When this game first came out, this game promised to be taking it back to the old school style of shooters. This was released around the time when all there was loads of like really scripted shooters, like the Call of Duty games and everything like that. The first thing we've done in this game is do a scripted quick time event of having a piss and we can't even control where our urine goes. Is that not a bit scripted? It is. The, the good thing is, we did actually stop pissing like a normal human. I thought it was just going to be, <laughs> Nukem is pissing forever. Just walking around, he's just like shooting some demons, like, just ignore the fact that I'm still urinating. Well, there's a lad from um, Half-Life over here. He's with EDF Energy, so... He said something, but I don't know what he said, so I fucking... No, no. Sorry, can you jump again? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just how we should uh, transport ourselves. <laughs> Operation Cock Block. Hurdy gurdy gurdy gurdy. Can we draw on there? I think we might be able Yay. to. Would you like to explain to us what your artwork is there, Nay? Uh, that's a penis. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, okay. That's a very flop. Uh, we won't go into that one. I'm just pretending to listen. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Duke, do you understand what we've said? <laughs> uh, now you've got some fists. Some fists have appeared in front of you. Some massive fists. How big are Duke Nukem's fists? I can't even see anything. He's got like paws, basically. Hey, Dave, do you know which. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. Fuck you, Dave. Just sitting around there staring at us doing nothing. Hold, Hold X for Devastator. Right. Uh, what uh, the? What? Hello? Hello? Nando. We're slowly levitating to the surface. Go to you and me. You want to okay. Oh, now you've got a gun. You've got a weapon. Up against a cycloid. And we're shooting him a bit more. And we're shooting him a bit more. Shooting I'm him a bit more. This is the way to do it. Shooting him a bit more. Shoot him oh, a bit yeah, more. You run out of ammo, and now you've got bloody screen so real going on. This is another common thread with bad shooters. We end up running out of ammo really early. See also Mind Jack. Oh, we got some. oh you we got, got some, some ammo. Got some. Right, They've actually given us some ammo. 69 ammo. Hilarious. Well, hey, nice. Q, 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 Q. Q, 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 Q. Q, 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 Q. It's always good when Q, combat Q, is Q, 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 Yeah, and you're out of ammo again. It's, a, it's an action game, but the combat is just entirely over. boring. Oh, how much fucking health do Has you want to Has he died? Have? I think he's he died. died. I think it's died. Or oh, he's just got bored and fallen asleep. Climb. Okay. Huh? Why do you regain health? Fuck off. What the fuck? Did you press X? Yeah, I pressed X. Fly I'm, I'm climbing. Okay. He <laughs> uh, tap A. Okay. Oh, wow. So kids, you know the really cool execution kills from Doom? The modern Doom? You know how cool they were? This game tried doing that five years earlier and... Failed. That was fun. 
done. What are you doing down there? What are you doing down there? Also, you can tell this is a 2K Games hair because they've never been able to do women's hair correctly. Play any of their WWE games and you'll see what I mean. That's probably not the thing we're most concerned about right now, admittedly. I can appreciate wanting to give like a lengthy intro to set up the story, like the Half-Life games kind of did that. Like in Half-Life 2, you wander through the station and escape from the cops and then you finally got a gun, but... This is just sort of wandering around looking at things at the moment, isn't it? This just feels like Leisure Suit Larry, but they it can't does. they can't quite be as rude. So they're just like, yeah, yeah, look, there's some people know. below you. Ah, you know what they're doing? It's like, yeah. Cleaning your I, shoes. I, yeah, I can imagine, but yeah, yeah. like, you know. You not move? No. No, you can't move. I can just about move my head in like... You can press the remote control. 50 degrees, maybe. Wow. Have they actually trapped you? We'll see you at the party. Yes. They're actually torturing you. Nod, what... nod if you <laughs> if you want out. Yes. Yeah. Leave me alone. Free me. Blink one eye if you understand. <laughs> Swimming pool. Yay. Sort of. It's it's not even. It's the water no oh my. It's not even ah. deep enough to like swim in. So wow. that's, that's and good. the water's not moving. I'm gonna play some pool. <laughs> uh, okay. Have you heard of a cue, Duke? Just, just wondering if you've heard of a of a pull cue or whether you, you just play with your hands. Cause you cue them forever. How much of a knob would you think this guy is if you if he showed up on an episode of MTV Cribs? Oh, he just is a knob. <laughs> well, just a, he's just a huge penis with legs. He is really. Basically, yeah. Obviously, the mirror doesn't quite show that, but he's actually a massive penis just with legs. I like the movement as well, the sort of sideways movement there. It's very janky. It, it's it's very janky. Yes. What is it with everyone in this world being just really like? Weirdly inhuman, and also just fawning over this random knobhead. It's almost as if they haven't fleshed out the characters at all. Get out of my fucking way. Oh my god, are they fo- Are you forced to watch the news because they won't let you past? Hashtag not scripted! Let me get my fists out. No, you've, you, they've tied your hands down at your sides. God damn it. You're actually walking around with your hands tied behind I'm, your back. I'm gonna jump over this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right, he's moved. Thank you, dickhead. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, my kids. Oh no, get the small child. Ah, get the small zombie child away. Mr. Nuka, will you no, no, run away. Flee. Oh, they've locked the doors behind you, so you can't backtrack. It's like Saw the live action horror maze. Just a bit, yeah. Sure wow, so you're forced to give this little shit an autograph. Although. Draw a penis? I'm drawing a penis. Again, I, I'm not. It's not quite very easy to draw. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen a penis in my life. Just to clarify. I'm not sure what penis it was. Are we going on the talk show? Oh. Can we just compare the size of his hands to the size of his hands? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Is this the reverse of the big head mode from original Duke Nukem? Oh, what's this guy saying? Wait, did you just get your fists up? I did. Would you like me to trash your mic? You don't fucking get it. The scene's oh, there we go. Hey, brilliant. Thanks. He caught these hands. Can we punch him as well? No, apparently we were supposed- oh. I think we were supposed to punch that guy. What, you mean we were scripted to punch that one guy and that one guy only? Yeah. In this totally hashtag not scripted game. Well, no one said it wasn't scripted, to be fair. <laughs> Stupid Adam! Whoever's <laughs> ending this poor replay of the guy who's just like, I'm off now, bye! Got like, fact, you just myself. waved your thumb next to the button and it was like, we'll, we'll take that as you pressing the button. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what? I don't even know what floor I'm going to. Thumbs up to the air. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Fuck it. We're gonna go up to floor 69. I fucking bet we are. 60, 61, 63, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh. Eight. No. Oh, you cocktease. I mean, I haven't even mentioned how completely horrible most of the textures look. So everything in this is like, press X to use. Yeah. Press X to use, and I'm just like, it's not a QTE, because it's not Ugh. timed. It's just like, I oh, just press X. Do you know earlier we want. said about Aliens Colonial Marines? Gearbox were involved in that as well, I think. I and you know, can kind yeah. of tell from this, because the textures are similarly garbage. Oi, what are you doing on the throne? Peace off, that's my throne. I take a shit in there every day. Yeah, punch him. Punch him. No way, man, no way! I'm not leaving until I get my picture on this throne. I've waited years for this. And we can't do- Hey, could you hit that picture button over there? I can't actually get my fists out, Do we so, have to- uh... Do we have to do what this little shit says? Fuck off! I'm loving this game so far. There's we, been, there's so, been so much I'm, gameplay. So we're supposed to be like the, the greatest, baddest action hero on the planet. And yet, 
we're forced to just wander around and take orders from random little shits like him. So now we can sit wow. on the throne, which is where this game belongs. In the bin. On the throne. On the throne. Flush down the loo. Yeah, don't, because it's not biodegradable. And now we're into another interminable loading time. I tell you what, I'm going to give you the controller because nothing oh, has happened. Well, nothing's happened. So I can now experience the nothing happening yeah. as well. Okay, fine. Finally. Fucking 12 years later. This might be some of the worst load times I've ever seen in games. Ever. Oh, God, what are you... What? Is that Nixon? Is that almost Richard Nixon? Right, two points. One, what the fuck is his mouth doing? Two, he's demanding we don't engage with the aliens. Motherfucker, you do realise why Duke Nukem is the most famous person in the entire universe? Because killing aliens is sort of his thing. I thought it was his pacifism. I thought he was out there with Gandhi. Yeah. The president thinks this time might be different. I tend to agree. You kicked our asses pretty hard last time. Maybe the president the thinks that this time's going to be different. Right, okay, so... You've already had multiple alien invasions already that Duke Nukem's rebuffed. But yet the president this time, fucking Neville Chamberlain over here, decides peace in our time might be the option. We suspect they have WMDs? What the fuck's your name? Tony Blair? I want to leave now. I don't want to have a lecture from the president anymore. All we've done is go places and get talked at by people. Yeah, and we can't do fuck all about it instead, except go, <laughs> Right, now what? We've been, we've been told that we're not supposed to kill the aliens, so I don't really know what the point I of this is doing. I think we should kill some aliens. Right, Mr. President, I'm very sorry, but this alien appears to be trying to kill me. So it was self-defense, if anyone asks. Punch him. Hit him. Is that Hit a pinball him. machine? Hit him. Oh, nice TK on to the aliens there. Uh, it is. Do you want to use wanna just, it? Yeah. Best bit of the game, really, I think, actually, so far. Well, you're saying if yeah. this was a pinball game, it would actually be better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is brilliant. I'm loving this. This has currently got as much gameplay as the entire rest of the game so far. I pressed the button! It's got more gameplay! Wow! Oh, no, we can play some basketball! Yeah! He's hooping. Where's, where's the hoop? This was their pitch for the oh, next NBA game. They were like, <laughs> 2K should make NBA games because... Airball. And it's all blurry and really dark as well. We can't see shit. Is this what modern games are like? This is why everyone hated shooters around 2011. And ironically, this game claimed to be the one that saved us from all that. And instead, it's doing exactly the same as all the other shooters that everyone hated. But worse. But never mind, Nay. We can drink beer. Yeah. Wow, 10 out of 10. Fucking hell. It's just giving us Kane and Lynch cam. Gee, I can't... Why is he drunk after Dude, one the... beer? I thought he was the ultimate pinnacle of manliness. Like, yeah, good point! On? What the f- How strong was You're that beer? You're fucking lightweight, mate. Yeah, mate. What was it, a tenant knocked back super? One... You knocked back one can of Stella, and he was like, oh, I'm burnt, mate. I'm totally pissed, mate. You know what I want, Nay, from this shooter game? More aliens. That I can shoot. Can I not have- these aliens have got guns, can I not take one of their guns? I love how you just Francis and Garner and them just like- Yeah, one off. punch. <laughs> Is this how Duke Nukem really made his millions? He was actually an MMA star. And then got all Conor McGregor, I was like, oh, do you know what, I'm gonna have a fight with an alien. I'm gonna have a boxing match with an alien. Pay-per-view only on BT Sport. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yay. I'm, I'm loving this sort of- there's no feel to any of the punches. It's like you sort of wave your fist at them and then through the power of- It's like punching a pillow. <laughs> And then someone just goes flying, and you think, really? It's like these aliens. Do that. It's like these aliens are made of crisps. I mean, this may be the single most boring game I've ever played. I can feel my facial hair growing. And I feel like we'd like this game even less if we had played the original Duke Nukem. So. Yeah, because like one reason we hated Sonic 06 quite as much is that we played the original Sonic the Hedgehog games, and they mean a lot to us. Fucking hell, if we played the original Duke Nukem's and we were like, oh, I man, can't I'm so imagine hyped. how bad this would be. I'm so hyped for Duke Nukem forever. Oh my god, it's terrible. Are we about to get a gun? No, we've got a weapon! Yay. We've got a weapon! Whoever's editing this, put a timestamp as to how long into the recording this was when we finally got a weapon in this first person shooter game. Oh, well, that was nice. We finally got a gun and shot three enemies, and now, fuck all. We've run out of enemies. Wow. Really feeling the threat of this alien invasion. It's just a bunch of them who have got lost on the way back to their home planet. They just landed by accident. They're like, oh, it's Duke Nukem, let's punch him. Oh, fed up delivery. Oh, me too. Really, game? Really? I bet you put that in there as a funny Easter egg, but it's just describing your fucking game, really. Replace two energy, two energy cells. Oh. Two more energy that cells. That voiceover is exactly how I feel right now. 
keep playing this game. This is like starting to descend maybe into making a play for the bottom five bollocks, you know what I mean? You can just feel when a game's going for the bottom five. You can just feel it sort of sapping the energy and the will to live out of you. I'm feeling like, a few similarities with Men in Black, with the sort of pointlessness of what we're doing. Yep. A few similarities with, uh, what else is in the bottom five? Uh, Sonic 06. Yeah, um, there's not many similarities with Sonic 06. Kane and Lynch, I can Definitely feel Definitely some similarities with Kane and Lynch, especially when we had a beer. Yeah, it's, it's got that sort of her manly gameplay. Yes, like, mini. We didn't bother to write the rest of the game. It was so manly, we just thought that'd do. Yeah, it's gritty moon stuff. It's like, no, no, you still have to write a game. I've got one. Yay. I've got one. He's found one. I found a cell. He's found it. Well, just one more to go after this. Oh my god, there's another one. Yep. Literally Ready. FML my entire fucking life. Ah. Right, it's light at least now. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Did he bring an energy reactor? Have you got... Mate, have you got a... Nah, he hasn't got one. Dickhead. Pick up your laundry. Alien life form detected. Two very important messages. <laughs> um. That's just your mum giving you errands for the day. Remember to pick up your laundry, dear. Oh, by the way, some alien life forms been detected. Now we're on. Well, now it's time to kick some well, ass. Now, oh, now. now it's time to kick some ass. Fuck me, Juke. Take your time. Uh, okay. Do I have a choice? John Jones mode? <laughs> you saw the mode. You saw the modes going on? What's going on? I'm, I had a gun. Why? Didn't... <laughs> I literally, I had a laser gun. Can I not? No, now you're just having serious roid rage all over oh, this. It just feels like this game was made to appeal to, like, literal 12-year-olds. Yes. Do you think that was the issue? The people behind it- Well, I'm dead. <laughs> cool. I don't think we need to play any more of that. <laughs> you can slap our wall boobs since most girls no, don't, don't like it when continue. you slap theirs. Right, um, we don't need to continue, that's that. <laughs> Out of ten. So while you're arsing around, which is pretty much the only thing there is to do in this godforsaken game, should we decide on a score? Let's. I mean, this is going straight in the bottom ten. This is Division One, bottom ten, maybe even bottom five. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, like, about how much fun you can have with the game. So Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Ten percent, that's seven. Ten percent. Did, did we have much fun with that? It had that little mobile goofy, where you could yeah, yes. rearrange that furniture and whatnot. That had physics that were hilarious. So yes, we had more fun with that. But the main mode wasn't much the great shakes. Was there wasn't a lot to do. Yeah, yeah. Sonic Forces, that's 9% in 6th place. Ride to Hell, 8% 5th place. Mind Jack, 7% 4th place. I'm not sure if it's as bad as Mind Jack. Really? It's, it's about the same. It's I, There's nothing fun you can do in either of them. What was fun about Mind Jack? Not much. What was fun about this? Not much. You think this ties with Mind Jack? It's, it's about there. I wouldn't say it's much... Like, Ride to Hell was a lot more fun. Yeah. There was some goofiness to that. But it's not as bad as Kane and Lynch, just from... I feel like even if we rate this the same as Mind Jack, this could be worse given the people involved in it, given the character name, given the legacy of Duke Nukem. There's less of an excuse. In the same way that we rated Sonic 06 even lower for those reasons. Do you see what I mean? I suppose. Mean? So what are you saying, 6%? I'm saying about 6%. I don't think it's made a play for the bottom three, but that's only by virtue of it's in bottom, the bottom three five. being that bad. Yeah, yeah, that's like the Premier League of... At the Champions League of shite. But this is still a pretty big whopping frozen turd. At least we played it now. Yeah. We've done it. We don't have to play it ever again, and I don't think we ever will, because I don't think there's ever going to be another Duke Nukem game. Hopefully not. I think this might have killed the series. Yeah, I think it has. I think it has. This There's not really much else we could have added, except just... Stamping on the corpse of Duke Nukem, which is kind of what Gearbox already did. So, and what uh, this alien's just done. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's been Duke Nukem forever. We've been on Barricade. Please do better. Yeah. Leave in the comments Gearbox games that are better than this. Not just all of them. Well, yeah. Alien's Colonial Marines technically was better. <laughs> okay. Anything that was legitimately good. Yeah. Yeah. You want some more Pringles? I'll have a Pringle. Alright. Oh yeah, see you next time in the Umbro, okay? Oh yeah.